Libra, this is your December forecast here, looking into the Tarot for you. And the first thing coming up, it looks like you're expecting some money, some extra pay or bonus or what the deal is, because it's coming in from two sources, what you are expecting. And then this additional, uh, it looks like you might have to wait a little bit for it, but there is news about extra coming in. So uh, that's a great month to have that. Especially now with everything coming up here in December, we got the holidays upon us and uh, here too. Secondly, coming up here for you is looking into a short distance travel, perhaps. Um, and there's a little temperance showing here early in the month, meaning that you might not know exactly which dates uh, you're going to be leaving quite yet. Or it could also be not knowing... Uh, a date for perhaps somebody coming to visit you. This may be set then, of course, then for the holidays as well. For those of you who travel with work, this might also come up as you are looking into your schedules and how everything is going to uh, pan out. It's busy this month. I see you to and fro and especially uh, within groups here. Uh, it could be in your circle of friends or it could be other affiliates that you are working with. But I'm seeing, too, that there is mm, something coming to the surface here. And I feel it's going to be joyful uh, as something is being revealed or disclosed coming to the surface. And this is after a while where there has been extra work or dedication being put into it. So that's going to stir up things, but stirring it up in a good way is always a good thing. For you, I feel home and family right now. There is a situation uh, pertaining to a male. So whether that's a son, a brother, a father, an uncle, it is a male. Now, this person here seems to have somewhat of a conflict and um, is needing your help or your support, your guidance, uh, and I see that you're listening to him and he's trying to find or figure out what to do on a specific uh, situation. And I'm feeling he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. So all you can do is at least, you know, listen and be supportive. And I think together you will find a good solution for him. Now, from the past, there is somebody resurfacing and... Uh, it's somebody that you were close to at some point. Uh, I feel there is a lot of joy here in this uh, reconnection, Libra. Uh, and both ways, uh, the person contacting, reaching out. And for you, it's like you're going back down memory lane. And uh, you know how those conversations go with a lot of laughter. And it's like, remember this, and remember that. So that is all very, very sweet. And um, here there is also some memories from your childhood coming up. So this goes way back. Family traditions, I feel, of course, you know, when the holidays are around, it is for most of us how we remember certain things. But this year, particularly, it's like remembering certain sweet memories that will uh, resurface. And so that is just joyful, really, really joyful. So as we're looking ahead here for you, uh, Libra, there is changes as far as creativity, action, wanting to now break through uh, to, to grasp for something that maybe you've been wanting to do, but really didn't find that you could allow yourself to do it. Maybe there's been some outer restrictions, perhaps, uh, for whatever reason. Um, but it's more like I see you taking a vow here for yourself and uh, that you're you're wanting to set a stopper, a full stopper to a certain routine, whatever that may be for you individually. But it is a routine that's kind of kept you now going in a certain direction and looking at how you can change things up, become, should I say, more alive, take a little bit more uh, charge as if you're feeling that there's an oncoming stream of change towards you and it's not quite yet it's coming here i'd like to say probably the first half year of 2016 but you're going to start feeling this underlying current 
that's calling you. A tag has your name on it. And so it's more like a positioning of a direction of where it is you'd like to go and where it is you'd like to head. And some of you are going to find that moving into the past is where you're going to find uh, the new beginning in the future, if that makes any sense to you. There's a growing of consciousness here, and I feel the consciousness is really expanding into the quantum realm. Uh, metaphysically is one thing. Of course, you know, the, a lot of you are spiritual out there, and you're reaching for that higher knowledge and have been on the path for seeking that. But the quantum reality is really starting to open up. And in that, I feel there is the sensation of, oh, thank God, spirit is still growing. There's still so much more out there. And uh, I feel you're going to find a lot of joy in taking upon some new direction or new studies there. Here's strength. The future is here in your hand. Relationship area is looking good here for December. Uh, for those of you in a committed relationship, that is all good and well. There is a sense of union, a sense of joy. For those of you who are single, hopefully here there could be somebody now crossing your path. Now, um, I, I'm seeing there is... A past relationship that's still somewhat weighing on your mind and uh, but not necessarily that it is a relationship you would like to restart again but where perhaps at some point in the past there were some wounds and that just brings me around to the feeling of Chiron the wounded healer that even though you've moved way beyond it sometimes there's that little lurking coming back up subconsciously uh, that is wanting or needing a sense of healing upon it just so it can have a full closure. So maybe in these tender moments of what December is going to bring you might even uh, unlock the door to this wound that maybe you haven't even been thinking about. For For some, it could be months. For others, it could be years you haven't been thinking about this. So, but, you know, whenever those things do resurface, we want to give it a little attention. We want to honor it because why? It's ours. We we have carried it, right? And so sometimes we need a few rounds of certain wounds to, uh, of the same womb to, to circle around in order for it to be fully released. Some of us can release it right away, uh, but not all of us. And so if that's coming, it's more like there is a third round here. And uh, I feel that this is one of the last rounds that you're going to be feeling upon this specific wound. I see it will, in the future, resurface two more times. And you'll be surprised to see the next time around that it's not hurting. Okay, so it's like you're... you're Locking that up, not locking it up because you're not stuffing it. You're releasing it <laughs> and then putting the lock on so that the next time around, you're simply going to be the observer of it, not the participant. And you'll be amazed and go, whoa, I have come a long way. And then this next time after that, it will surface one more time. And that is the universe's way for you just to check up status upon how far you have come and processed on that uh, healing path. And you'll see that that time around too, that uh, you're seeing it, you're remembering it, but the emotion of it is now gone. That's when you know you're fully, fully healed. And loving to see those kind of situations because life happens to all of us. We got processes we got to go through, live through, and whatnot. And here, this one, it's for you. What else? Here, towards the very, very end, here there is a male. He is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. You're going to hear news uh, about this man. There is something here I feel that has to do with a marriage, a relationship. This could be somebody in the family or uh, friendship circle uh, that is coming up with news. Uh, he is married, so the, it's a married couple. Uh, but I feel it's the male that you know in, in that party here. So, yeah, some interaction with them and also perhaps spending some good uh, time with them, too. 
But this is what your tarot reading is showing here for December and Libra. Uh, I see here how 2016 is looming upon you and you do know that next year for you is going to be a very special year with a lot of turn of events that we're going to be paying attention to on a monthly basis as we're seeing the progress of how you now step by step are actually letting go of several years of certain circumstances and how you are now going to start taking these new steps towards these new heights. So listen, happy holidays, Libra. I wish you the very best and blessings to you all. And I'll see you in the January forecast. <music>